Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Now today's video is actually something that I've been excited to talk about and it's a question that I received a couple of weeks ago. I keep your questions in this huge document. Don't think that they're going unanswered or lost. They're in this document that I hold. And this question says, hey Katie, could you do a video on therapy from the therapist's perspective? Kind of like an inside view of the process. Like what do you think or feel when having a session? Do therapists ever have moments when they don't know what to say or if someone brings up something that they didn't expect? How do you handle that? What if a session takes an unexpected turn? <gasps> do you ever have problems identifying with a client or identify too much? Lots of random questions, but I thought the idea of an inside look of therapy would be really interesting and informative. Thanks for everything you do and just for being you. Oh, well, I thought this was really cool and something that I hadn't actually thought about sharing, but I'm sure everyone just like you have your own experience in a therapy session as a client. Therapists are all going to be different. So I'm just answering this from my perspective, what I know and my experience. And I'm going to kind of try to go through her questions one by one. So the first part, she said, do therapists ever have moments where they don't know what to say or someone brings up something they don't, they weren't expecting? And definitely, there are definite times where I will have, there's a problem that's been presented. And even though I may know, because a lot of times as a therapist, we know what the like quote unquote answer is, or they just need to do this to fix the problem because I'm trying to get you there. And me telling you that doesn't help you. You have to figure it out. And so there are times when I've kind of come to like a roadblock where they're not like getting what I want them to get and I don't know how else to say it and I'll be at a loss for words. And I'll just be honest. I'm kind of one of those types of therapists where I'll just say, Honestly, I don't really know what to say right now. We've tried, you know, and I just kind of talk about the process. And usually by doing that, we come unstuck. Either the client is like, oh, they see something or they recognize something. Or I am like, oh, here's another way we could go about it. And so, because there's never one way to get there. It's not like, you know, Google Maps or something like, this is how you get from A to B. It's more like Waze, for those of you who know the Waze app, where it's like, we could go all these different directions to get to the same end point. The second part of the question says, um, what if a session takes an unexpected turn? Do you ever have, oh, then that's another one. Um, if it takes an unexpected turn that, honestly, I never go into sessions having a pre-planned idea of what we're gonna talk about. I have a nugget of where I'd like to go because I can't go into a session unprepared. That would be bad. But I also don't go in thinking this is what we have to accomplish because I would be upset all the time. And so, Always sessions are taking unexpected turns. I'll have clients in the last 10 minutes of a session, we call them, um, they used to call them, what was it, like uh, door confessions or something. Like as they're about to leave, they confess like a big deal. And I'll have that happen all the time where somebody's like, oh, by the way, um, I was sexually abused for like 10 years. Or, oh, by the way, you know, I purge all the food I eat, bye. And so I'll get like these kinds of drop offs at the end. And that just gives me something to work with um, for the next session. And so I of often just say that. I'll say, thank you so much for sharing. I'm glad you feel safe doing that. Let's, you know, table that for next week. And we just move on because there's not enough time. And if we open that up, it's going to take a long time to make them feel safe enough to leave. Um, do you ever have problems identifying with a client or identifying too much? Definitely. We're human too, right? It's all about the relationship. And that's why I talk so much on my channel about finding the right fit. I know not all of us have all sorts of opportunities and referrals and stuff like that. And hopefully that will get better. And that's one of my like global goals to change how mental health operates worldwide. But in the meantime, trying to find someone that you at least can connect with. Because as therapists, I've referred clients out when I don't feel like we're really connecting. Or they'll just not want to make appointments and I just won't. You know, I'll be like, yeah, wonderful to see you and meet you. Um, here are some other people you might like. That's kind of part of the process. That's completely normal. Um, and identifying too much, definitely. And that can also be bad too. And it's a struggle for therapists a lot of times with counter transference. Like if they've gone through, let's say I was in recovery from alcoholism. I'm not, but let's say I was. And somebody comes into my office and I don't deal with that because it's too close to home. And then I find out that they're doing that. I might have to refer them out because it could be too hard for me to keep my own shit out of the room, which is kind of important when you're helping someone else. And um, I think that was it. Yeah. So I hope that was kind of interesting and informative. I know that there's a lot of, you know, like behind the smoke and mirrors of a therapist, but we're people too. And a lot of the things that you wonder about or you worry about, like, 
we're human. So yeah, we're going to not know what to say. We're going to, you know, fumble our words sometimes. We're going to like people and not like others. And we just have the human condition just like you. So I hope you like this. Leave all your questions in the comments. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I put out videos twice a week and you don't want to miss them. And I'll see you next time.